<laughs> Welcome to Toffee TV. I'm here in the 85 Lounge with Everton legend Derek Monfield, friend of the show. Morning. morning. Is it morning? Well, no. We'll, we'll it's a late afternoon. I need yeah, some you, wine. He's kept me talking for three hours. He's trying to go, so we'll just be very, very brief. Derek, you're it. obviously the Howard's Way film as it is out now. It's in the pictures. It's St George's Hall premiere and everything else. How important do you think it was to make this film, basically? Oh, it's one of them. People have asked all the time, are, are we the forgotten team of the generation? I don't think on their side we are, but maybe nationally we might be. Um, it's a great idea by Rob to put it together. It's great that we've got everyone involved in it. Mm. It's great that everyone's here tonight. We're so, so sad that the, the gallery can't be here to, to see it and, and take part in it. But we've all got tremendous memories of the time and it's been great to talk about things and... and as Rob said to me when he came round to the house, he said, you've got a gold mine here. And I didn't know what I had in my loft. Um, he, kept, he used so much of the stuff I had. Uh, I didn't know I had it because it just gets put away and it's now running through locked away because I'm busy moving house. But <laughs> to actually find what I had in the loft quite surprised me. Um, but because Rob's done this, no credit to him. I've seen the snippets, I've seen the trailers. And it looks like it's been a, a well put together documentary or film, whatever you want to call it. And I'm looking forward to seeing it. What do you think the team at that time? Obviously, there was a, the ban and stuff like that. What do you think that team could have gone on to achieve? I think that team, if you look at, probably could have gone and dominated European football, mm. uh, or been one of the top teams in European football for many years to come. Um, purely because Howard would have invested in better players all the time and had a bit more finance to bring in better players. And the more successful or the more money comes in so the more you can more, more you can spend so I think we'd have gone on to bigger and better things I think we were good enough we were young enough mm. and that's important we were young enough yeah, yeah. Um, but these things happened if you look at what happened 85 the band came in by 87 we'd lost the gaffer and Trevor and Gary yeah. went because you wanted they wanted bigger things they wanted European football which we couldn't get I think the biggest is one for me is that we weren't given an automatic recall into Europe in 91. I'd left the club by that stage, but we were the last team to win. We should have, we should have gone straight into European football. It's happened now. So, so, it's done now. But for them four years, it was wonderful. It was great to be part of the football club. Great to be a blue from the territory to the pitch. That's even more special than people understand, I think. But great time to be on the football club. I just wish, I've done interview galore. I just wish that I was on the terrace with my mates. <laughs> Not me giving my mates my tickets or tickets for the game. I wish I was there celebrating with them. But I was on the pitch doing it. They wanted to be where I was. And I want to be where they were. Um, but no, fun memories, great memories, and I'm looking forward to the night. Uh, how, how nice is it to, to meet up with all the lads again then? Because it yeah. must be special. You, you see so them. many local lads like Kevin, Graham, Pat, yeah. Sheeds, but the Andes, the Trevors, the Gary Stevens being away. I've not seen Brace and Richo in years. I've been Alan Harper a couple of times. For us all, and Reedy, but to see us all in the same room, it's, it's not so much the film, it's afterwards getting together, chatting, reminiscing. And Just talking. drink water, loads of water. I, I'm yeah. drinking water, man. I've, I've got a few grapes in mind, though. Yeah. <laughs> and I suppose final question and a sad one you touched on it before is that just a pity that Howard is near to have seen this this through it is it's it's one of them it's it's Everton Howard's way and without Howard I wouldn't have signed for Everton without Howard maybe it wouldn't have happened without bringing Reedy and Andy Gray in without Mark's injury it might be a Mark and Rackett not Derek Manfield there's so many ifs and buts but the main man was, was Howard Kemble he's the man that put that team together he's the man that gelled it together with the, with his backroom staff and he's been gone now for I think it's four years now and it's nice that we can pay tribute to him as well as the team but because he's the, he's the missing link in this film tonight and everyone knows what he meant to a lot of people yeah I have run into the power and ups and downs but he's the man that said I want to sign for that football club and I'll be forever ever in his debt for putting the contract in front of me saying I want you to sign for my team the rest was a bonus for me the rest winning trophies and leagues is a bonus what a lovely way to finish. Big thanks to Derek. Go and have your water with a couple of grapes. A couple of grapes in. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. Cheers, boys.